Hello, hello, welcome back for some evening work. We will take out the big X1100 to turn some straw into chaff here. And we are using the Flegel trailers here, and actually two of them, um, because they are uh, equipped with hooks, uh, you know, both front and back, and they are compatible with the big X uh, hooks. So we can actually drive here with uh, and, and collect uh, the straw and it will automatically uh, fill the, the rear uh, tipper first. And when the rear tipper is uh, filled, it will automatically change to uh, the, the middle tipper. So here we go. Uh, and you know, uh, one of the big advantages of, of doing this is obviously that you can uh, become quite efficient by having this setup. You can actually run for quite a while collecting the straw uh, and before you actually have to empty or uh, take the, the tippers to, to the biogas plant to, to empty them. So this is a great setup actually. Of course, you know, having a, a big X1100 uh, and, and two tippers like this is, is not for free, but we uh, have a, a, you know, been building the farm uh, from, from the beginning and have constantly improved and uh, made the work more efficient over time. So I think it's, uh, an, uh, right now we are where we want to be in, in terms of efficient to being able to handle the, the, the straw and in fact turning the straw to chaff and then fermenting the chaff into silage and then you know shoving the silage into the biogas plant uh, is one of the best incomes that I have on this farm so it actually to pay for a lot of the equipment turnarounds and equipment improvements that we need to and eventually we will absolutely need to get some new fields uh, as well uh, to, to do, you know, improve even more. <coughs> we will need to be in some new garages and, and sheds, you know, at remote the locations uh, <coughs> on, in Bjornholm as well in order to have less traveling time with equipment back and forth, different fields and actually station ourselves at different places uh, throughout the year. As I've tried to do on, uh, on the potato field, you know, I've tried to uh, build a small shed over here to house, you know, to store the, the front load and the potato harvest and the stuff that I need mostly for the, for the potato harvest. So, yeah, this, this goes along really, really nice. We are currently, you know, filling up the, the mid tipper here, the rear tipper is it's already full. And, um, once we have it, you know, filled up, we will, uh, we will move down to the biogas plant and uh, fill it in one of the bins uh, that we have already started filling. I guess that we will try to fill that bin up to at least 50%, maybe more, before we actually cover it with plastic and start the fermenting process. Um, so right now, when the both of the two, you know uh, tippers are full, obviously I don't want to take the big X1100 uh, down to the biogas plant to empty them. So I disconnected the, the tippers from the big X uh, actually and just move it a bit forward, and I used the. Uh, the case uh, Magnum 380, which has a hook uh, back, uh, back uh, that is compatible with the field of trailers. Not all tractors uh, are. For instance, uh, my New Holland T8 with tracks uh, is, is not compatible with the field of trailers. So that tractor cannot pull these trailers. Uh, but this Magnum uh, 380 can. Um, that's a, uh, obviously a good huge advantage because it's much faster to to use this tractor down to the biogas plant and, and back again rather than having the, the, the big X uh, do the pull. So the big X will rest here for a while while I go down the, to the biogas plant with, 
64,000 liters of, of uh, chaff. Right. It's a bit heavy, although over you know something like 435 horsepower, it will. It's still a bit heavy. So they buy a gas plant is just across the street here when they get down. Let's see which one was it. Next one, here it is. Here we, we're gonna turn in here and, and unload. Uh, unload our chaff. This way. We are constantly, slowly filling up. Let's empty these trailers. Right about here, I guess we start emptying the, the rear one first. I wish there was a way to uh, empty both of the trailers at the same time, but I haven't found one yet. At least I can start emptying the, the front tipper um, while the, 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 the rear tipper is uh, lowering itself after it's been emptied. So, right. Nice looking track of this. The new Magnum 380, not the standard one that that comes that comes with the you know, uh, stock, but but uh, this is a, a modified one. It's a newer uh, model year uh, Magnum 380, so it's got some improvements to you know to the back edge. It's got a, uh, the front weight is uh, is on 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 hooks, so you can have something else equipped in front of it. Standard 380, which has a sort of a fixed weight, front weight. Right, so now I want to go around and make a U turn over here somewhere, I guess, to line up the tippers behind the big X again, so that I can just reverse the big X and Now I need to be able to get out of the way with the tractor as well. So there we have it. Right. Let's uh, connect the, the tippers. Do -do -do -do, do -do. There we go. Right, so starting up the starting up the harvester and just get going again. So I will continue uh, clearing these fields and I'll see you guys later in the next episode. Uh, so bye for now.